Ah, uh, what is up, lads? Cats and Corral here with a brand new gameplay series. Of course, you see on the screen, Deathmark. This is a visual novel by Axis Games. This, I think it's the same publishers for. Or, well, it's made by Experience. I'm sorry. It's published by Axis Games, the same publishers of. Uh, what's that? What's that one? Guilty Gears. Get Guilty Gear series. Anyways, I've seen the gameplay of this, but all I know is that it's a horror genre visual novel. So let, let's dive into it a little bit, see what's popping. So I might, I don't know if I'm gonna have some places where I'm just can't, where I just can't fucking uh, record. So. Just be warned, or just look out for that. Hell, I might as well tell you because you won't know. Hey, you want to head up to karaoke place? You're loving hero songs out. Hmm, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling up to it today. The story creeped me out earlier. You want to hear it? You want to hear a story? Sure. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I wonder if she's gone missing. Hmm. What the fuck is this all about now? What? No one knows where she is? Nope. She just disappeared. Just up and poofed from the library. Library. Fuck. I, uh... I don't like libraries, honestly. One of the student librarians said she was researching something there. But then she vanished. She's super diligent, right? I thought the student side was weird that she up and move like that. Oh, wait, the creepy ass music. Huh? So he's checked in on her. So when he did. Oh, are we playing this? Oh, her hand! Her arm is left. Damn! Is the right arm? Had a really weird scar on it. So it was definitely a yeah, it looks like a damn bite mark. A star. Yeah, it looks like a dog bite. That does not look like a dog bite, honey, but it does look like a bite. She showed it to me. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. Is that what this death mark is? For real? There's a scar like that on Yuki's leg too. Ah, shit. Ah, Yuki. Wait, that's. Really want to miss it? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's crazy. <laughs> Dang. Maybe that rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar. Oh no! You're scared me. Oh hi. There's the man with Saint Mark. I heard snatches of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but it's obvious they don't believe a word. Yeah, that man has to be me, huh? You're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. Sure, I guess. The sun's about to set. It's gone later than I planned. I shouldn't have stuck around here at that store. You stuck around? Then why would you... Why did you stay? I better hurry. Ah! Migraine? Hmm? Thunder rumbles in the distance, no shit. Oh, what the fuck is this? Huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. Ears are buzzing. Ah, oh, my head's swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. Is this like an ultimate dimension thing? During the night times or some shit? What time is it? I glance my wrist, but my watch is gone. Well, ain't that sad. I put it in my coat pocket. But all you find is a business card. An elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Kud Kujio Spirit Healer. I butchered that name, and I am going with it. On the back is a photo of the mansion. 
guess this is must be the Kujuo Mansion. Kujuo? I'm not Japanese. Asai. Jinsaya Kujuo. Those names sound familiar somehow. Eh, I guess. I might have find out. Taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. Oh, that just skips. I didn't know L1 would skip. That's a strange scar. I wanted that. I could just be imagining this, but. Are those fucking eyes in the background of those hands? Baby mouth? Yeah, feeling nice. I see chill when I look at it. Hmm. Not gonna lie, look at this image. It just reminds me of it. a front view of the Spencer Mansion in Resident Evil. My fists pound a door. No reply. The light appears in the second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. Oh, it's a little... <laughs> oh. He just opened it. Okay. No point in staying outside. I'll just go on in. I'll apologize to the owner later. Hmm. Inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's that sound except for the constant ticking of the clock second hand. I must be in the entrance hall. The our atrium ex extends to the second floor. And one home? No reply. Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can't hear me down. Why would they do that? I guess I need to go upstairs then. The staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk toward it, cutting across the hall. Hmm. My ears catch a strange noise. I don't want to look at that possible thing. I turn to look where it comes from. Or it's coming from. Oh! Doll? What is that? Someone's there and fell by the dark. I think they're staring at me. <laughs> they're fucking staring to my soul, dude. Oh. There's gonna, there's definitely gonna be routes here, so let's talk to them. Hello? I call up, but the person remains silent. Fuck. I'm gonna sit back a little bit and approach them. Gulping, I hesitantly make my way over. Trepidation slowing my steps. She doesn't have... Oh. Wait, is she, her eyes open or she, she just have a fucking cataract or something? It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. If it seems that way to me. Doesn't look like she's even breathing. Of course. Yeah, I keep creeping myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? Oh no. Backing away might kill me, and so might touching her. One of them has to be right. Maybe she's asleep. Let's give her a love tap or some shit. But the shake hand is slowly reach out and touch her skin. I'm not sure what happened. I expect, but it feels natural somehow. Stiff, that's a stiff and cold means dead body, dude. Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. Press down on her arm and she makes a strange sound I heard her. Was that like... Was that like wood? Is she a puppet actually? Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. She's a doll. A doll's joints creak when they're moved. Well, that's not a dead body then. That's what made the noise. What a relief. If disappointing. Hmm. 
I carefully begin plumb the stairs, making sure not to trip. Ah, twelve. As I reach a landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. Looking up, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that that's what make, what's making the sound. Pause and wait for the climb at the end. Doesn't seem to be stopping, maybe it's broken. I'll approach it then. Actually, no, I shouldn't have done that. It's not my house. The noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach toward the glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends. Broken only by ticking. I guess it's fixed now, but... That time was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? Hmm. All these strange occurrences make me uneasy. But if I continue on the room with the light... Or to the room with the light... Stopping in front of the door, I knock. Again, there's no reply. Try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. Oh boy. What the f I think there's something on the floor. It's dark inside. Strangers definitely saw lights on he on in here when I was outside. Maybe they left and turned it off somehow. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. It's sugary, like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeate, permeated with it. Some kind of aroma, aromatherapy, maybe? That's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. The moment draws me further into the room. What? The floor under my feel feet. The floor under my feet feels off. Hopefully it's water. Wet. Hmm. These ambient noises, man. Fuck. It dawns on me that I'm spilling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know what scent. It's metallic tang. Is there perfume? Honey? <laughs> the fuck was that? I have flashes and I gl catch a glimpse of something. It's certainly a grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Strange is here? Do I want to stare at it or do I want to look away? Hmm. Fuck. I don't even. It's not even 30 minutes. And I'm already getting spooked. I like it. Hmm. Something strange. I have to look away. Try, try to tear my eyes away, but. It's over Zardak. I can't stop staring. Oh, that's what that. It's a blooming body of flowers, yet it has blood. Blooming flowers are everywhere. Her hands are still there. I, it's not that teaching that story. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach. Her blood soaked body overwhelmed by them. I wrench my gaze away. Horrified. Hellish images burn into my mind. I can feel my body, entire body shaking. Bile rises. I'm going to throw. Nope, nope. Mm -hmm. Was that a ghost girl? I saw. Hmm. In the next instant, the lights are on. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna. Zoom in and out of different realities at random, man. Oh, God. Wait, that's not all. The body's gone, leaving only a stain. 
Yes, doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream. At least I'm really much prefer if it, if it was. But a faint smell still remains and the blood stain crushed any hope I had of that. You went back out, eh? I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape this whole bizarre situation. Where are you going, my guy? Ah, when I stumbled back into the hall, the lights are on in here as well. Anyone, please give me company. I decided to have another look around. All the furnishings are in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old-fashioned fash old mansion. Is the bell still there? It's the same one. That large doll sits on the couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Fucking life-sized figmas. Probably belongs to the owner of this mansion. So what do I do now? Contact the police? Your stomach was full of flowers, sir. And the corpse up and vanished like fog. Like anyone would believe that? Yoko Actually. Hmm. I was gonna say. Might as he would have been prime suspect, but shit, who is this? The doll? She's blinking. The doll moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one I found when I found a corpse. Up until this point I was nothing more than an observer to all these freaking events. I could distance myself from it. But now a doll is talking to me. Startled you. So I sincerely apologize. Can you be a friend? At least a good person in general. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. The words are elegant and fine. Her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. She f slowly folds her hands together. She can move too. I'm sorry for not introducing myself. I'm called Mary. I've likely seen a number of oddities here already. You and that dead bug with flowers. I see my master, Zyakujo, has been able to escape from the mark again. So your master had the mark. I think the character I'm playing right now since the beginning cutscene had a mark 2 for the same guy with the mark. Hmm. Sayakuja, is she in that corpse? But wait, what's this about a mark? That Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. Are you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm? Ah yes, that one. This weird, she must be talking about this weird scar. Did Saikujo invite me to this mansion? I try to remember my head hurts. Oh boy, I have amnesia. That's epic. I have something to tell you in place of my late master. But I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Oh, that was a much simpler question than I had been expecting. It's... Ah, uh, okay. The heartbeats. I'm. F I won't be surprised if I ha start exploring and I hear this when an enemy's close. I break into a sweat. My story's drying up. Why? Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. I see. Than it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what what's going on with me. Before an off before I offer an explanation, please assign it a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name which by which I, to call you. It is also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. Hmm, she's probably right. Better to have some place over her name than continue life as a hollow nameless being. Hmm. Ten letters for the protagonists. 
name. Bashiki? Hmm. I wonder what that means. Let's put place my own. Temporary name. Oh. Yeah, Shiki was the last name. Fuck. <laughs> okay, first name, Kazuo. Hmm. This is basically backwards, my. Not for this game, but whatever. Coral Castle, hell yeah. Cannot be changed. Let's go. Oh, I can make my own character? Ooh. Okay, I lied to myself. You can't. I can't fucking make my own character. Alright. I really like the type 1. Also like type 3. I'll take type 1 for both. Best of both worlds. I'm Corel Kassen. Understood, Lord Kassen. Now I shall explain to you what... About, I'll explain to you about the mark. It is a seal of death. Those who ever will die, soon die. You do not believe me? I am certain this sounds absurd to you. One who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's death proves it to be inf irrefutably true. Ah, yes. Corpse whose sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. I'm afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. I'm already starting to lose memories, they don't even know my name. Face death while suff what all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss. Can't be. That mean I. That mean that I'm. Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Or Cassie, you. Huh? Will die this very dawn? Kujio Mansion trophy obtained. nice intro. My memory skipped forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute it, attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. Next thing I know... Oh, you're back here. And the stain's gone too. I'm lying in the guest room of, in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. Really? Already vaguely? <laughs> I must have fallen asleep at some point. Thanks to that, I feel a lot better. I'll die, Donna. Huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. Doesn't make sense. We have the blue. But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. Are you sure she's that much of an expert? I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved by an inch. Well, I doubt a doll gets bored with fitting like humans do. But the master is dead. Can't you just move around and have at least do whatever you want to do? Mary? Wait, morning. Are you feeling better now? that you have plant calmed down. I'd like to ask you a question. What will you do now? I can guide you on only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. The master was researching the mark. Vidai is prior to her death. She found a way to escape it. The 
regretfully, regret, regretfully she passed away before she was able to inform me. She had the answer, but did she still die? Fuck. She doesn't know anything after all. Oof. There's still some time yet before dawn. There was some chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. With that, you would, with that you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's worried about all this, a time on Earth is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then there's no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when morning morning comes. But am I really all right with that? I mean, people are being killed in non nonsensical ways, nonsensical, grotesque ways. <coughs> Especially with that ghost story, man. Fucking arm left on the table. I don't know, unknown where that teacher went. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? Hmm. Ah, yes. <coughs> this is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. Live or die. Deadly choice? You'll be faced with a choice that can result in death. There is limited time and your soul power will continue to drain. Okay, so it's like, so it's that type of game, not huh? limited time. Time's up, or wrong answers will result in the game over. Okay, also careful in finding the right answer. Restoring soul power? Something a deadly, deadly choice that restores some soul power. Wait, that's the only way to do that? I can't, I can't sleep? Or take a... Accelerate dialogue. Dialogue will be set up. Pressing the L button to figure that out. Certain dialogue and dialogue cannot be set up. Backlog. Options will display previous dialogue. I don't know. R1 button. I learned that too. I need a dialogue control. Triangle. And I shall ask you will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? Epic! Fucking... Survive! Okay. That was an easy one. Deadly choice for this one. I decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Captain, I shall carry out the dying wish of my master and please you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish for wish of me. Alright, bro. I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what to, I should do. I know squad about the super, supernatural. Losing my memory makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. Nani, what the fuck? Front door knocked, man. Who'd come here this late at night? Oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that the other mark bearers have a right. Other? Fuck! Is an instinct that she knows these things, man? Are you sure that she's not doing a nay nay in front of my ass? Fucking, maybe she has some kind of mysterious power. I don't know, being a talking doll and all. I beg your pardon, Lord Captain. I do apologize, but good great, I guess, in my steed. They may experience a shock of a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. Ah. Okay, I moved to the front door to greet our, gu our guests. People fade to die like me. Wonder what they're like. Ah, who I find at the door, not what who, or not who I'd expect to see this late at night. High schooler. Are you the girl that's missing? 
A small. That's a boy. Okay. Sure. These kids have the mark. No way. Um. I came to see Professor Kui Kujio. Kujio. Uh, who are you? I can't say I'm a total stranger. Since I am here in the mansion. I'm your boyfriend or relative. Disci dis disciple. Uh, I'll just say disciple or some shit. Huh. Okay. She's got so much spiritual power. It's no surprise she'd have disciples. She seems to know Saya Kujio. Now that I think about it, that, that business card did say spirit healer. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge cult fan. Don't be surprised. I'm Moi Watanabe. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote on Oops Arts Monthly. Oops Arts, huh? Isn't that like artifacts you fucking find out or not supposed to be in the time period or something like that? She pulls in a cult magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. She, the accompanying article says the scar is a soul inhabiting disease that erases memories. Choir at Kujio Mansion. Ah. Uh, it's, it's the same scar, right? Or. Oh. She lifts her. Moe's lifts her scared up a bit to show me her leg. Right there on her right side is the mark. I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friends' names. It never happened to me before. Do you think the scar's doing it? That article is obviously bogus. A young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. The high school it fell for it. You must feel embarrassed about that. But Tsukasa, aren't you hanging out around, around out in front of the mansion gate? Fess up, your scar scares you. Ooh, got him. Tsukasa seems to have no retort to that. He finally sulks. Looks like a bullseye. It's clear the boys mark bears. I better bring them over to meet Mary. Moe shrieks excitedly when she gets close. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen one this day before. You wanna, you wanna have an RT team doll? The craftsmanship's so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. Most, the boys admiring her when. Yokoso. Aha, God. Nanny, it, it, it's folk. Let, let the two new visitors join our number to enter the monstrous, this monstrous world that hovers on the precipice of death. Mary tells Moe and Tsukasa about the mark once they regained their composure, all about the sturdy memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from what, someone like her. Both of their faces pale. Now, came specifically here because you believe Lady Saya's article, unless I've already experienced the loss of or pain of losing your memories. Well, he admits as much earlier, but I can see Tsukasa's face darken. So it must be happening to him too. I'd like to confirm something. Where you were, where were you when you got the mark? Amnesia seems to be worse than theirs, so they might be remembered. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might have been a curse from Hanahiko. Hmm. Hanahiko. His name is familiar to me. He is the ghost. The resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. The Saikujio was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Casson. I shall tell you the rumors of Hanahiko. <laughs> Chapter 1, boys. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Is Hanahiko a fucking boy? 
Oh fuck. Man, I like ghost adventures and shit, but fucking hell. Uh. Hmm. Alright. Hold on. Alright. Just checking the time. Oh, did you hear? What the ghost boy all the schools in H City are talking about? Hiroshima? Sounds like Kan Kanahiko is back. I bet he that he can appear if I peek into the school mirror at night. Fuck. The last few something. Am I pretty? Whoa, that sounds similar to it. That sounds similar to a Jap no, Japanese. And if I know. If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes. Red stuff then. Ooh. Ooh, then he just disappears? What the hell? How he got hate the dolls, you know? I don't know. Here's a person the person he has to be the dolls they'll die. They're not just drop dead. The blood is drained from them. Uh like the illustration, huh? And next to the corpse. Is a single rose. <laughs> a rose dripping with blood. Bleat. Oh. I, I wanted to see the rose of blood, but okay. Rooms can be easily manipulated. I think that's I think that story is uh I don't know if it's tr a true rumor, but I know it's it sounds like a rumor about that. Lady with a mask. Yes, she, she asks if she's pretty. I think if you if you say yes or no, you die. But actually, no. If you say yes, I think you just get the same nasty mark across your cheek. Basically, a never-ending smile. I think. I don't know. Passing from one person to another, assumptions and errors mix in. They also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moy, do you know anything else? Probably got my mark. I was investigating Hanhiko at H Elementary School. Aww. Okay, honey. This has to. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Hmm. Can I ask all these questions? Because I want to know. Why were you at H Elementary? I had dreams to write about the cult, so I'd love to see a ghost. I like ghosts. I don't want to be a cult. I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that that place would be easier to sneak into than regular school, since it's been closed down. The dress mask. Was he there? I don't think so, but I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror, but a shiver suddenly ran down my spine, got spooked and left. That could have been you, or if you want to be supernatural, go. I'm he go himself before he even answered or ask you a question. When did you notice the mark? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange girl was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Kuji wore about. I think I have a handle of what happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost. But there's no denying she had the mark right uh, after returning home from H Elementary. And maybe. Suka glances down at his left hand. <clears throat> Mine might be from Hanahiko, too. I noticed, yeah, I noticed it after I got home from T Elementary. I don't know if it's me, but I feel like once the word in yellow pops up, you hear your little slight ting. Hmm. I think it was a scene at a lot of schools in each city, right? Maybe he remembers something. Better ask him some questions too. The elementary? Go to school there? Probably heard of it since it's top rank elementary. Oh, same city too. Hmm. What was that? Sunset? I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. 
Oh, did you see Hanhiko? No, I didn't get trailer or anything. Oh, he passed the mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anything more. The stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumors. It can't be just a coincidence. You must investigate the places where Hanahiko appeared. For their sake as well as yours. Oh, okay. Exploration. Visual novel, huh? Yeah, that's all well and good, but... <coughs> what am I investigating? <laughs> Doesn't like coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. Woo-woo. Must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's, break the mark's curse. That's the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. It seems like Hanhiko appeared at two schools. What will you investigate? Hmm. Maybe T first. I feel like H would be spookier. What? Are you serious? A lot of weirdos are around lately. So scary is real tight at night. Clear suspicious looking. You would be interested in the haunt dragon. That's not nice to say, but she's right. I'll be safe to sneak into H. Okay, fine. You get going then? Let's do this. Am I with everyone? Am I just with everyone? Where you're coming to? Ah, uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing my ego yet. Ow. She grins at me. Is she really strong? This is blind optimism. I'm going to- Oh yes, everyone is coming. Don't die on me. Hey, now you too. Seriously? My life's on the line here. I don't want the reason to die to be because you messed up something. True. Pretty bold. You're gonna think you're cute. Okay, sure. But to bring K's along with me is... Eh. I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate. Stealing lives of children are and adults. If they wish to fight with their fate, you should honor it. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for a worse if we're going to survive. Please, take only one mark bearer with you, however. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by the spirits. Also ask that you not waste time dwaddling with others on the way. It is possible that unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Only we'll engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Arigato. Select your partner. Okay, I gotta select the mark bearer. Just in the partner menu. Oh yeah, hey mister. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? <coughs> your memory's getting worse all, all the time. I don't want to forget anything. Ooh, I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I write down all the info and I get and keep it in my file. Something in it might just save our lives at some point. Hmm. New info. Spirit you know, spirit file, rumors of how do you go other. Spirit file. Okay, important info. I'll be out of there. Check it from your bag. Consult it if you need help. Watch my bag. Saving and loading. Save a dimension or haunts. Turn to the tile screen with the bag to load. Choose continue. Alright. It's back, right? By save. No. That's the spirit file. Mark bear. End. No. Damn it. Oh, save a square, okay. Man, I'll leave it off here, boys. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll leave a like for this episode. And don't forget to subscribe and share with our friends. I'm getting excited for this game. Truly. Peace.